Welcome to Nuts at Night, episode number 110, the show on the Pod Nuts Network where uh, we bring cool and interesting stuff to you guys, stuff we see on the internet, videos people have sent us, things that flow through our Google Plus stream, however we get it. We think it's cool and we want to share it with you. So that is the gist of the show. Hope you enjoy it. Let me introduce the co-hosts of the show, starting right now with Steve D'Amico from stevendiamico.com. Hey, hey, hey. What's going on? Not much. Just enjoying the uh, the weather changing and seasons and everything. For all you guys out there, don't get the season change. Sorry. <laughs> it's cool, though. You like seasons change? Yeah, it's awesome. I know you don't get it, right? No, we do get a little bit. We get a little bit. <laughs> you tell the difference down Just there? Just not yet. Yeah, <laughs> I, from... yeah, we definitely definitely can tell the difference. When September rolled around, it got cooler. Shorts with sandals and then shorts with sandals and socks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still wearing shorts. I'm still wearing shorts. Not a big sandals guy myself. But um, cool to have you on, Steve D. Liam from LiamTech.com. Liam Tidwell. What's up, dude? No, just enjoying the the still warm weather. I, I saw from one of my friends back in Idaho, first snow today. Really? It, snow? Yeah. Oh, man. Wow, already? Oh. And it was over 90 today here. <laughs> <laughs> I win. Uh, I win. <laughs> I'm with you. I'm with you. I'll tell you what. The only thing I like about the winter is it snow. If it's not going to snow, I there's no point of winter. I think if it... That's the only reason for winter it should be when it snows because I do like snow. I like driving in it. I like do you notice how snow makes everything soft like a uh, sound quieter? It just coats yeah. everything. Everything's quiet. Night time snow working it working in the night for 5 years for cable. Nighttime snow if it, if it only it was warm it'd be perfect because it's quiet. It's bright out. Yeah, it's bright. I love that too. Yeah. And there's nobody around. Yes. Unfortunately, it's horribly painful cold. <laughs> and, and you better talk to the audience before you go to Chris. Uh, why don't I talk to him after I introduce Chris? Because Chris is going to... Okay. That was your warning. He told you. All right. Well, I'll do, I'll do what Liam says. Now I'm scared. Um, <laughs> if you have, you've probably heard on the other pod nuts show, so this may not be a surprise. But uh, we're going to be taking one month off f of podcasting. I am basically. This is my brainchild. I'm taking one month off of podcasting. There won't there won't be any pod nuts for a month. Um, Door is actually going to do Linux for the rest of us with Jonathan Nado, Nado, and I'm not sure if Lalo and Matt are going to keep doing the show. I got to get with those guys. But um, for the most part, it's going to be a one month hiatus of pod nuts. Be just and the reason you ask why? Just need a little break. You know, this is this takes up a lot of my time, and um, it's a lot of work. And I, I wanted to just you know back off a little bit. Rejuvenate, come back in strong. Maybe put, maybe get some new gear in the meantime. Maybe try to go HD in the meantime. And there's a lot of projects I want to get wrapped up, like the tech site builder revision that have you guys have been clamoring about. I want that get that done, and a couple other things I need to get done so I can uh, pay some bills and such. So that's going to be it. Uh, I don't know why I had to say this before Chris goes, but I guess I'm going to find out right now. Chris Barry from TechnologyAdventures.com. What's up? Hey, well you stole my thunder. I was just going to make fun of you. I was just going to say, oh, I'm taking a month off. You know, I'm just going to relax and not do a heck of a lot. Called the bank. They said, don't worry. You don't need to pay for things for 30 days. It's fine. <laughs> Take some time off. It's all good. Shut the business down. Things will work out just great. Yeah, that still worked. It, worked really it, still, good, yeah. it still worked pretty good. Oh, good. Whew. Yeah. But you know what? I actually thought about this. It's the perfect opportunity for you to catch up on all your Podnuts shows that you've missed. This is how you do it. Get into present time with all your shows, and then you'll be up up to date with us. Fresh new content. Like the first story. Let's just get this out of the way now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. you got to introduce the fifth member, the behind-the-scenes guy. Oh, Eric? Yeah. Oh, yeah. we, we got to introduce him once in a while. I introduce him every show. You haven't been here, you doofus. <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> doofus. <laughs> Sorry, life and all. Eric, Eric Salsa is, the, I guess, the fifth member, and he keeps up the uh, Facebook.com slash Nuts at Night page. All the stories we talk about on that go straight onto that page. So if you miss it, it's almost like the show notes for the show. See, I don't have to do them because Eric does them. And um, we fully He's appreciate it. saving him. your lives, people. We've had zero fatalities from people taking down notes. <laughs> since he's taken over. No more people driving and dying, taking notes. He's, That's all him. He is the man, he, and he's fully appreciated. 
So thank you, Eric. <laughs> I hope that was a good acknowledgement for you. Was that okay, Liam? That's great. Okay. Um, what the hell was I going to say now? Oh, let's get this oh, out of the way. Chris, start us off with this story. Let's just do it. And with with respect, of course. I mean, it's a, it's a huge story, but let's just all say our thing about it quickly. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm sure everyone's heard by now, and if this is the first podcast you're listening to, I, you know, just brace yourself. Steve Jobs <laughs> has passed away, and it's terrible. <laughs> I'm not laughing because of that. It's obviously awful. And, I, you know, I'm a fairly big Apple guy. I, I, I like Apple. Some of the stuff they do makes me upset, but... In the you know big big picture, I think they're great, and I think uh, Steve Jobs was just amazing and just a visionary, and uh, what he did for, I mean, just the things in my life. Uh, I mean, the first time I touched an iPhone and you know f just used a smartphone. You know, I know Android's around now and it's it's great, and you know what say what you will about Windows Phone and 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 all the rest of the ones that are really good as well. But you know, I'll never forget that day that I picked up that 3G. Uh, iPhone it was just it was so much better than everything else out there and that was all him I mean sure he had guys helping him but that was him uh, the iPad again say what you will with it. it it's it's cool too he's just done lots of stuff that's really amazing uh, and I think uh, that without him without Steve Jobs as a person we wouldn't be where we are in technology today things would be a lot different better or worse they'd be a lot different um, I mean, yep. not to, to make the guy like he's some god, because from what I've heard and what I read and some of the movies I've seen, I'm sure he was and is a massive, massive tool. He's a terrible <laughs> boss. He's just awful to people when he's got, a, got a, a thought in his head that has to be done one way. He gets very upset at people and stuff like that. But, you know, that's probably what made him so awesome, too, was that he had just with the thought in his head. You get it finished, do it correctly. Uh, nothing that Apple comes out with usually is unfinished. It's all pretty well polished and pretty amazing. And I think a lot of that has to do with him. And I don't know. I, I'm sad. It's a sad day in technology for me. Uh, and yeah, it'll be interesting to see. I heard someone talking about it uh, today on uh, Tech News Today. And they said, you know, Steve Jobs has been in the, in the business for a long time you know, since the 70s, 77 or something, he started his company. So if we had to look at someone today in the same light, is there anyone that's even close to what he was like? You know, there's like, you know, Mark Zuckerberg. No, you know, uh, the, the guys at Google, Sergey, Sergey Brin and, and all the rest of them. No, I mean, really, there's no one that's even close to him. Now, granted, technology is still fairly new in the grand scheme of how things are. But, you know, the guy died at 56. He was way too young. Um, it's just, I just, it's just sad and I can't, I can't think of another person that was like him or as big of an impact on an industry as he was on this industry. Yeah. Not lately. I've been hearing a lot. I've been hearing a lot of people compare him to Edison in that respect. Yeah. Um, I don't know if that's necessarily a, a good comparison, but I mean, that's the one I'm hearing the most. Um, I, I like to look at him as, uh, the PT Barnum of, uh, technology. I mean, he brought a lot of new stuff to the game, but I think what he brought the most was the desire for people to get these products in their hands. I mean, he above above all else, he was a great marketer. He he knew how to create a desire for a product. Big time. But he, he did create a desire, but this he must also have known what the people wanted too, because you know they all love it. Eh, I you know I mean if you're good enough. You, you can dictate to the people what they want. Yeah. Sort of. I guess so. I guess I so. mean, there's got to be a little bit of it there, but yeah. Steve D., what do you think? I mean, I, I, I think some people are, maybe, maybe I haven't been really, I, I try to hide from the coverage, the over coverage, because I start getting sick of a story pretty quickly. Um, like, you know, I mean, there's only so many times you can hear about the same story, you know, but uh, it, he, he was, he, pretty much invented the first computer with uh, Wozniak. I mean, the guy's amazing, you know? I mean, nobody can, th I mean, it doesn't matter how much you hate Apple or the company or the, 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 you know, but I mean, everybody loves on iPod. I mean, who, who, who doesn't like, who doesn't like that? <laughs> yeah. And there wouldn't be an and Android phones would not be where they are, or what they are without, without the iPhone first. So, I mean, 
he really paved the way for a, in a lot of ways. I mean, he he had his own failures. There was a lot of failures, but I mean, it's it's a really just an inspiring type of guy. I mean, it's cool to see somebody. Uh, you know, it's funny when you when you hit it so big with with certain things, people forget all about all the the crap you did, all the you know all the failures. You know, right? You know, I mean, it, it's the same guys that uh that nail things. You know, what do they say about uh? The guys who uh, hit the most home runs are the ones that strike out the most, you know? Too. Yeah, exactly. I, I yeah. agree. So a lot of his even, like, his flaws and, like, his temper tantrums or whatever actually happened. I don't know. That guy gets forgotten because he just was so freaking successful with uh, with Apple, so. Yeah, but, I mean, like, if you're balls to the wall like that and you're, like, I mean, a me mega overachiever like, like he is, I mean, how could you not be a tyrant? You know, of course, yeah. that just goes. That's just a component of that. You know, how do you not be hard, hard with people? You know, push people hard. Of course, I mean, look how hard he pushed himself. You know, I mean, that just goes hand in hand. You, you know, you can't. It's like saying I, I like birds, but I don't like them when they fly, and I don't like their beak, and <laughs> you know what I mean. I don't like wings, but I like birds. It's, it's just stupid. It's a stupid. Statement. I guess I guess it would be a lot to ask to be able to have somebody that who that much determination and also be nice to people. But I think I think it's no, I think it's possible. I think it's possible. I mean, he, it's possible. This, it's just not as effective, perhaps. Maybe not as. Yeah, this was his method. I mean, he did he. Got, yeah. He nothing was going to stop the guy, and that was pretty much what was happening there. And he when whatever he wanted, he was going to get it no matter what. And he just had no stop. He would not allow any stop on his lines. And I really respect him for that. I mean, that takes a lot because you, you. And I talked about this a little bit on Podnets Daily. You probably he probably had so many people in his ear through the years telling him what he was doing was wrong, stupid, never going to work, and he just did not care. And he just kept going for his vision. And that that is awesome. He's a, definitely an amazing guy. Um, definitely changed the technology world um, big time. I love the quality of hardware Apple products, and that was all him. I mean, like he just went for that and that's what i like in my hardware uh, devices so yeah I, it's sad um he kicked butt there's gonna i think though chris there's gonna be somebody else that will feel be like him he's just not around yet but uh, there's gotta right. be somebody else that's gonna come around like him you're so, right it's it's the early years yet yeah. you know it's like the you know it'll be like henry ford dying right you know it's yeah. like the beginning or we're just at the start exactly and uh it was just so cool. You know, I've seen stuff about him. You know, he, he got, he's, he built Apple up his billion dollar company. The guy from Pepsi got hired, hired him. And then they kicked him out and there was a billion dollar company. Steve Jobs is fired. Go start this other <laughs> stupid company next. Anyways, the guy, forget his name, the Pepsi guy. Scully. Yeah, Scully runs Apple into the ground. 90 days from chapter 11, 90 days from bankruptcy. Yeah. So Apple goes, and buys Next, which was Steve Jobs' new company. Steve Jobs comes in, fires everyone that wasn't pretty much wasn't there, you know, before he had left. So there's still people that were still there from the good old days, as he called it. Redid everything, got rid of all the clones, put all this new hardware in, made this beautiful new. What it was? It was was it the iMac? Then it was that purple computer, you know, the all the first sort of all in one mm -hmm. without yeah. the floppy drive. Mm -hmm. And from that day forward, he almost was invincible. You know, right. it was like that computer, then the iPod, then, you know, the i the better iPod, and then the iPhone, and then the iPad, yeah. and then these amazing unibody laptops. And then it's just like, boom, 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 boom. It's success, success, success. I've never seen a company have so many uh, intuitive, or not intuitive, so many new products, like things that, that were never brought out before that someone went, well, this will be a good idea to bring out, bring it out and to be such a massive success. You know, it's just like yeah. one success after another success after another success. And so there's a, there's a sprinkle of failure in there, no doubt about it. Uh, but most of the time it was like success, success and just incredible. Like just, it's something else to see. And sometimes because I was a windows fan and I still am, it was hard to watch. You're like, Oh, look at all these Apple guys getting what they want. Ah. But it was, <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty amazing, man. Yeah. It's truly, yeah. I I enjoyed watching it all along the way. It was just freaking awesome. You, you know, it's like it's even if you think about it, right? You think of if you ever played with other MP3 players than iPods. I mean, they're yeah, almost they're awful. total. <laughs> even today, yes. Nobody can make an MP3 player. Yeah, I mean, they're nobody, awful. 
Really, I mean, there's no MP3 players that are really truly worth having. Nobody's really figured it out other than, other than Apple. Still, still, you'd think that with the massive success that the iPod had, that somebody somewhere would have just said, you know what, I think I could do something good too, you know, and then do something at least like competitive with it. You know, I mean, it's an argument between Android and iPhone. At least that's an argument. It's not, I don't think it's even an argument when it comes to like any MP3 player versus the iPods. Yeah, yeah good point. That's a good point.